In this video we share Mystic Maria Voltorta on preparing for the chastisement. There is need to brace for the pain that will come from the chastisements. But how do we do that? Our Lord Jesus Christ had words on this, as recorded by Mystic Maria Voltorta who, by divine will, witnessed a conversation between our Lord and a farmer on the issue. Saint Padre Pio had endorsed Maria Voltorta's writings and so did Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta whose main readings consisted of the Bible, her breviary and Voltorta's poem of the man-god. The following is the conversation between our Lord and the farmer. The farmer asks, is pain not always evil? Our Lord Jesus no, my friend. It is evil from a human point of view, but from a supernatural one it is good. It increases the merits of just people, who accept it without despairing or rebelling and they offer it, as they offer themselves with resignation, as a sacrifice to expiate their own imperfections and the faults of the world, and it is a redemption for those who are not good. Farmer, it is so difficult to suffer. Our Lord Jesus, I know that man finds it difficult. And knowing that he would find it so difficult, the Father had not given his children any sorrow. It came with sin. But how long does sorrow last on the earth? In the life of a man. A short time. It is always short, even if it lasts a whole lifetime. Now I say, is it not better to suffer for a short time rather than forever? Is it not better to suffer here than in purgatory? Consider that time there is multiplied a thousand times to one. Oh. I solemnly tell you, you ought not to curse pain, but bless it, and you should call it grace and mercy. More recent messages from the Blessed Mother who again cited hard and difficult times ahead. To Gisal Arcadio on November 3, 2022, she said. My children, thank you for being here and for having responded to my call in your hearts. My children, my tears flow for those who do not listen to my call. I weep because of blasphemies and for priests who are not faithful to God. I weep for those who, despite the signs of the times, are tied to the false lights of the world. My children, I ask you to convert, times will be hard. Pray that your Father would be merciful. There will be famine in the world and food will be lacking. Children, provide for yourselves and for your brothers and sisters. The hearts of men are becoming harder and harder, and that is how Satan will lead them into the abyss. Children, invoke me in moments of suffering and I will be with you. Call upon my son Jesus and he will change suffering into peace and sadness into joy. Be firm in faith. Many do not know God and do not want to know him, yet. He is Father and He does not want to lose you. Children, follow the way of holiness, read the Gospel and the Word, and there you will find everything you need. Love one another as God has loved you. Now I leave you with my maternal blessing, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then to Brazilian visionary Pedro Regis on October 29, 2022, our Blessed Mother said, Dear children, I am your mother and I have come from heaven to call you to conversion. Be obedient to my call. Difficult times will come and only through the power of prayer can you attain victory. Humanity has turned away from God and is heading towards a great abyss. Turn back, quickly. God wants to save you. Do not live far from His grace. Repent sincerely. Repentance is the first step that you must take in seeking holiness. Do not allow the smoke of the devil to prevent you from seeing the truth. I love you and suffer because of what is happening to you. Be faithful to Jesus. In him is your true deliverance and salvation. Courage. I will always be by your side. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. 
I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.